Alright, this is my new amp. This is the Ampeg SVT Classic Series. It's a 300 watt tube amp. And it has which is the exact same specs as the old school Ampeg's uh, tube amps. Just a simple EQ with a frequency selector. There's a little boost there. Minus 15 decibel input. And, you know, gain and it's tubes standby switch and of course the matching cabinets 410 and another 410 over there and right now they're both hooked up and then this is going to be my base pedal board <coughs> this is MXR Smart Gate well here start at the beginning of the chain we have the uh, uh, Crybaby Wah Pedal, the 105Q, the bass wah. <laughs> Sounds great for bass. Uh, harmony Singer, TC Helicon. Uh, this is just adds vocal harmonies. I haven't even tried that out yet. Uh, Polytune, TC Electronic Tuner. One of the most accurate tuners and supports multi string tuning. Um, uh, simultaneous multi string tuning. <clears throat> MXR bass compressor, uh, just a simple compressor, but very, very nice compressor. Bass envelope filter, this is basically like an Ottawa effect, or you can get, you know, kind of slap bass effects and stuff like that. Um, or tones, rather. Um, really cool, really good for funk, very necessary for funk. Coming out over here, we have the MXR base overdrive and that's basically uh, an overdrive some nice distortion there well overdrive and then the base fuzz is a classic fuzz sounds really nice it's very trebly very fuzzy very very gritty and I have the fuzz turned pretty much all the way up as you can see it's very very fuzzy for that type of a disgusting bass solo if you want if you want to pull that off and then uh, the bass chorus deluxe just a very nice chorus designed for bass it has a uh, up here bass and treble individual EQs so um, you know so you don't lose the, the really cool thing about all this MXR bass series pedals is that they uh, uh, they don't lose the low end and in fact some of them boost the low end so it's very nice because you can have all these effects and you don't and you don't get cut out of the mix. And then the end of my chain is the MXR Smart Gate to get rid of the noisy pedals because <coughs> uh, the fuzz and the overdrive add a shitload of noise to the tube amp. So you need that basically. And basically, it's set to a threshold where very minimal that I could uh, I could set it to and it's just just trying to kill some of the noise that gets added by the distortion pedals but not you know not uh, kill the sustain so far I've had a couple problems um haven't really been able to get it exactly where I want it but I'll figure it out and that just runs right in to the head there's no effects loop on this head so um you know, otherwise I might have put the chorus in there, but um, it doesn't really matter for bass, in my opinion. So, anyways, this is my new rig, and uh, coming soon, uh, I will be playing bass in 11th hour at the next gig, and this is what I'll be using, along with my P bass, which is right over here. My Fender P bass. So yeah, that will be being used uh, in through this rig. So yeah, hope you like it. Um, hope it sounds it sounds really good. Uh, I'll give a little sound demo here of some of the effects. Is what I was going to do. So here's what you can see. Which pedals I'm uh, engaging or whatever. Hopefully. The bass frequencies don't just roll the camera.
Because that's usually what happens, so I'm just going to turn it down a lot. There's still some gain on the amp, so it's not completely killing the tone. That's just my regular tone. Here's with uh, just some compression. I'm only using a four to one ratio, and not very much output on the compression. I don't, I don't like a shitload of compression. Just enough. <coughs> Pretty much have the compression on for most of the time, but certain songs I'll probably turn it off. And then uh, the bass, here's regular tone again, and the bass envelope filter. So, as you can hear, kind of gives you some wah stuff. And you can hear that the low end is retained when I hit the low E. So that's pretty nice. And then um, the overdrive. So you can hear it adds a lot of noise. Like I said, I haven't gotten the gate totally right, so bear with that. Sorry about that. a lot of gain if I'm going to use an overdrive or a distortion for bass you might as well go all out so and uh, yeah it's pretty beefy and very low it that rumbles my fucking windows it's and it's a, sounds a little bit louder but again I'm trying to tweak all of it So yeah, that's, you know, the overdrive. And then the fuzz, one of my favorite ones. Could do rugged solos with this. Rugged tone. Or, I mean, uh, sorry, normal tone. Very clean. Another testament to the, the nice amp tone. And here's the fuzz. Back to the regular tone, and here's my chorus at the end of the chain. It's not very chorusy. Yeah, I don't like a lot of. I don't like a very wet chorus.
So yeah, that's pretty much the rig. Harmony pedal's not hooked up, so can't really demonstrate that. And uh, here's the wah, a little bit of wah action in here. Oh yeah, this is a uh, spring wah. So as soon as you click, you start playing, it just automatically starts playing. And as soon as you put the heel all the way back down, it automatically disengages the tone of the wah. So it's like an automatic off type of thing. So you just go in and out. So see right here, it's just off. It doesn't, you know, just turn the low note to mud like it does on guitar, so. You can wall these low notes. Still sounds nice and funky in the high end. Something, I, I don't know, I'll have to get used to that wall. Anyways, this is the new rig you will see in the 11th hour. So yeah. Fuck yeah!